What's up, world? Welcome to Cage Minds. I'm your host, Micah. UFC 135 in Denver has came and passed. We'll figure you out on all the results, tell you how my picks did. We'll get right to it. First fight was James Tejana versus Ricardo Romero. We had predicted a first round knockout for Tejuna. Tejuna was successful in doing that as Romero kept shooting for takedowns horribly, leaving his head exposed, and Tejuna made him pay with that knockout. Next, we move on to Takeo Mizuzaki versus Cole Escobedo. We had picked Mizuzaki to win a unanimous decision with his takedowns and his striking. It was his striking in his clinch that actually led to a TKO in the second round. So another successful winner for us. Moving on, Junior Awesome South versus Eddie Yagen. I thought this would be close. I had it as a split decision. It ended up unanimously going to our pick, Awesome South. Moving on now. Nick Ring took on Tim Boach. We had that going as a unanimous decision for Boach. Ended up going just that way. He didn't look so well in the first round, but came back in the second and third to steal those solidly. Next fight was Tony Ferguson versus Aaron Riley. We picked Ferguson to end the fight in the first round. The doctor did stop it after the first round. Aaron Riley has a broken jaw. This could send sign the end of his career, as this is the second time it's happened. Maybe it's not healing correctly. Thanks for all the memories. Probably done. Tony Ferguson has some real punching power. Dislike the guy personally, but seems to be a very good fighter. Now we go to the main event card. Ben Rothwell versus Mark Hunt. I had it as a unanimous decision for Ben Rothwell. Would go the other way. Hunt out survived Rothwell as both men looked gassed and extremely tired in Denver. But he did show a much improved game. Next, Nate Diaz versus Takanori Gomi. We had Diaz winning with the guillotine, I figured, it somewhere around the second or third round. Ended up being a first round armbar. Gomi got submitted. He looked too small for this division. Maybe he could try featherweight or bantamweight. Nate Diaz, great return to 155 pounds. Looked great at lightweight. Looked like the best Nate Diaz we've seen. This takes us to another battle of heavyweights. Travis Brown taking on Rob Broughton. We had Travis Brown with a first round knockout. It was not to be that way. Rob Rotten survived all the way to the end to lose a unanimous decision, so we're still right with Travis Brown. Now we go to the kill main event, where Matt Hughes took on Josh Koscheck. Josh Koscheck was our pick. We figured he'd win a decision. I didn't know if he'd be able to finish Hughes. Hughes was finished in the first round with the TKO. The Hall of Famer, the welterweight legend. This is probably your ride into the sunset. Again, thanks for all the memories. It was great watching you fight. But you're probably done right now. The young, the young bucks seem to be taking over this, and you're just kind of taking up space in the UFC. This takes us all the way to the main event fight, where John Jones and Rampage Jackson went to battle. Rampage had admittedly said he thought John Jones was the future and was going to try to postpone the future from taking over. Well, it seems the future is now. We had predicted a John Jones third round choke and it was a fourth round rear naked choke. Future is now John Jones looked tremendous and definitely just worked over Rampage from the grappling to the leg kicks, jabbing, to completely took Rampage out of his game. Looked almost Anderson Silva like with his movement, his head movement, his dancing, kind of had a Rampage in trance and just it was pickings for Jones. Next up for Jones, Rashad Evans. Well that gives us Nine and one on our picks, only being wrong on the Mark Hunt fight. So it was a good weekend for me on this. On um, Bellator, if you watch that show, I was one for four, so that's three wrong. I was ten and four over the whole weekend, still keeping at my 70%. Other news from the UFC 135 was that Nate Diaz got a $75,000 bonus with submission of the night. Josh Koscheck got a TKO of the night. And five of the night bonus went to John Jones and Rampage Jackson which I personally thought that was a little one-sided, seeing as how Rampage stood there and took a beating. That was our coverage for Cage Minds of UFC 135. It's a great weekend of fights, great weekend for me on my picks. Thanks for watching. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, and check back next week for more shows.